All right, ladies and gentlemen, handyman back again. This morning, working on something a little different. 2012 Honda Accord, trying to put a start on this thing, uh, which is behind this uh, intake right here. I caught myself starting the video before I started on this, but for some reason, I looked at my uh, camera and it wasn't even recording. So I'm at this point, but I'm gonna go back and over explain to you right quick what I had going on. First thing was to loosen this up with these two uh, things on the end here. I pull that out, sit that to the side. Uh, you're gonna have to get that intake. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it on there and take it all off as one piece. I'm taking a look at it or I'm gonna separate it and take it off that way. I've got a couple of hoses to it. I see this hose here already taken a loose. You're gonna have to do that one. You're gonna also go have to do that one, which goes there. I've got one more over here on the side bottom under here that's gonna have to come off and uh, this bracket here which I just stuck the bolt back inside of there for right now and also a bracket down there if you can see that bolt I've also taken it out uh, so that's where we're pretty much at now we're gonna figure this thing out the rest of the way I guess as we go looking at it so hang on a second and I know, like I said, either way, this throttle body, I'm not gonna check, take a chance on messing up any wires or anything. So if we can unplug this and get that out the way, that's a plus. Now, like I said, we're gonna have to do something about this throttle body anyway, taking it out. And I'm looking at uh, probably the best way to do that is to uh, find my flyer first. And uh, let's see here. Is that some business or that's just junk? Fires uh, on the ground. Take this top one to loose is what I'm, I'm gonna do. And see if I can take these pliers to wiggle and break that seal. see it turning you should hear a little pop don't want to be too rough on it and then I'm gonna disconnect this one down here and like I said I don't like them better to twist that one see if I can get in there with those pliers that seal loose she's moving a little bit but but that's essentially what we're gonna have to have to do take that other one get it out the way y'all so for right now got that loose got all my disconnections loose uh like i said see if this one will come off of here she's coming there it go heard that seal pop loose thing then she'll side right off of there. That's like antifreeze. Hmm. Bottom line. Okay, so I guess we don't want to try and disconnect that one. So we'll hook that back up. We'll leave that line alone. Look like we're gonna have to uh take the throttle body loose and just set it back to the side. So the next thing would be to do is take those four bolts a loose that actually hold the throttle body on, which, uh, let's see here, 12 millimeter. Timer still going? Mm -hmm. What time? Four minutes, 30 seconds. Just light pressure crack it. Go to the other opposite corner, bike pressure, crack it. This corner, same thing, bike pressure, pressure, crack it. Just a little bit at a time. Same thing with that one. 
All right, got them loose. See if I got an area. I can set these bolts in there. Take this one out the bottom first. And it's gonna be a bracket on the back. I'm seeing following just like the one on this side right here that's gonna come down. But you're gonna have to hold it. That should be, yep, boats out. See if we can fish that bracket through there. Okay, well it's hanging on with the little hooks there, so that's not a big issue. We'll take this last one out. And we'll set it to the side. Then we're gonna have to crack this throttle right by the loose. Double check, make sure you got all your, uh, everything loose. Okay, that's all we had to do. Give it a little wobble wobble. And she came loose. And we'll just temporarily set that right there until we get our, uh, everything else disconnected. Make sure we got all this. All that will come out the way. So like I said, that intake will actually come out of there. When uh, we get ready to do that, I'm double checking. I don't see anything else on top. We're gonna have to disconnect. So we're gonna go ahead and crack the bolts here. Well, let me take my pick. That one hose I had down on the side, I didn't get a chance to disconnect it. They seen it, so it's no big deal. And we got that one to loose. So, we can proceed on back to cracking those boats loose. One. Two. Three, four, and five. And uh, this uh, seems to be about everything. Let's see if we can get these boats out of there. Try to lay your boats in order as they came out. They should be the same side, but just uh, on the safe side. It looks like all the bottom ones are the same size, which are actually screws that go into the uh, intake, the top three are nuts. So what we're gonna do is we can take all the bottom ones out since Seems like mathematically that's the way it was designed to put the top ones on first and let it hang. So we'll take the bottom ones out. What's the time? Eight, nine minutes. Y'all hear my got some help today a little bit. That's why I said try to make a longer video for you guys. So you can get some more benefit out of what I, I'm doing. Then, like I said, you got the last top two, which are actually nuts. Be careful to hold on to those. And from the best of my knowledge, everything else seems to be disconnected we're gonna find out now what you want to do intake same thing if you had a rubber mallet you would bump on it but we're gonna kind of rock it and it's came kind of broke loose just rock it a little bit be careful grab this side over here bottom and just gently 
rock. It seems like I got something else that might be hanging on towards the bottom. Let's double check. I do see a bracket looks like way at the bottom down there uh, that's actually connected. There's two boats underneath the manifold and one's deep down on the block. I'm gonna work on that for a minute. It's kind of tight, so it's gonna take me a bit. Let me, uh, but let me show you which one I'm talking about. Don't know if you can see it from this side. But it's way down there, I think you can see it. Maybe now, it's underneath there, but it's hooked to a bracket. You're gonna have to get that off and that manifold will come off. So let me work on that and we'll get this manifold off here and we'll be back with you guys in a minute. All right, thanks.